so you can learn how to calculate inbreeding coefficient in pedigrees that is in those families in which consanguineous matings or marriages have occurred consanguineous marriages means marriages taking place between close relatives blood relatives rather con means actually same sanguine means blood so if matings or marriages occur between close blood relatives then that may lead to homozygosity so inbreeding coefficient deals with the level of homozygosity which may occur at a specific gene locus because of consanguineous mating we can learn this aspect by considering some cases let me consider first a case of first cousin see still in several parts of the world there are certain ethnic groups in which first cousin marriages do take place so what would be the consequence of such marriages or mating that is what would be the amount of homozygosity because of this first cousin marriage that we can learn by going through this diagram see in this particular pedigree four generations are actually shown see in the first generation these two individuals male and female their genotype is shown genotype of this male person is a1 a2 on a specific gene locus and exactly on the same locus the alleles are a3 a4 in this female okay we are actually we have to consider for calculating in breeding coefficient we have to consider maximum genetic difference between the parents and if these two parents are maximally genetically different in that situation what would be the chance that first cousin marriage will result into homozygosity so uh, we can calculate homozygosity only by considering that the initial parents are genetically very very different from each other so that is why we are considering that a single gene locus is being represented by four alleles shown as a1 a2 a3 a4 in that situation uh, what would be the chance of homozygosity in this fourth generation so see from this first generation marriage two children are there one male other female now this male person gets married to a woman and from that marriage they have a son and this second generation female she also gets married to a man and from that marriage they have a daughter now if this third generation male and female marry each other then this will be considered as first cousin marriage and in that situation if this third generation male and female have a child that is suppose a child is born in the fourth generation then what would be the chance that this child would be homozygous so this child by considering these four alleles that is a1 a2 a3 a4 we can calculate that what would be the chance that this fourth generation child would be genetically a1 a1 or a2 a2 or a3 a3 or a4 a4 because these four situations will actually result into homozygosity so this calculation how to calculate that the level of homozygosity in this fourth generation this could be understood by going through this diagram what i have shown same you know first cousin case i have shown in this diagram also here the first generation male female their uh, you know genes will be inherited to the next generation so what would be the chance that the fourth generation child will be a1 a1 first we can calculate this see the a1 allele its chance to be inherited to next generation to this second generation you know this could be male will be 1 by 2 and its chance that same a1 allele will be inherited to this right side person will also be 1 by 2 and then from this left side person a1 will be inherited to the third generation its chance will be 1 by 2 and then from this 
third generation suppose it is male it will be inherited to the fourth generation will be 1 by 2 so on the left side the chance of even inheritance to the fourth generation will be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 this will be 1 by 8 and on the right side also it will be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 and this will be 1 by 8 so 1 by 8 into 1 by 8 that is 1 by 64 so this fourth generation individual will be a1 a1 its chance will be 1 by 64 exactly the same way chance that this fourth generation individual will be a2 a2 will also be 1 by 64 chance that this fourth generation individual will be a3 a3 will also be 1 by 64 because this female of first generation can inherit a3 to the left side as well as to the right side and from them that could reach to the fourth generation so here in this calculation we find that chance that a1 a1 homozygosity will be there will be 1 by 64 likewise a2 a2 homozygosity 1 by 64 a3 a3 homozygosity 1 by 64 a4 a4 homozygosity 1 by 64 so this individual will be homozygous for any of these four you know alleles will be 4 by 64 and that way the final answer of inbreeding coefficient will be 1 by 16 so this way we can calculate inbreeding coefficient that is level of homozygosity because of this consanguineous marriage in the fourth generation will be 1 by 16 we can take up some other examples also here in this case i am explaining the case of full sibling that is if brother sister mating takes place then what would be the chance that this third generation baby would be homozygous so this is actually considered as full sibling and this could happen in case of humans or in case of cattle so it will be applicable in every organism but here suppose this uh, uh, these parents male and female they are genetically a1 a2 and a3 a4 okay and the chance that a1 will be inherited to the second generation male will be 1 by 2 okay and it will also be inherited to this second generation daughter 1 by 2 and from there second generation inheritance of a1 to the third generation will be 1 by 2 likewise from this female also inheritance of a1 to third generation will be 1 by 2 so if we calculate it then chance that a1 will be inherited to the third generation child will be actually 1 by 2 if we consider the left side of case 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4 and also a1 will be inherited to the right side daughter and from daughter to this third generation child will be 1 by 4 so a1 a1 homozygosity its chance will be 1 by 16 likewise uh, a2 a2 homozygosity will also be 1 by 16 a3 a3 homozygosity will be 1 by 16 and a4 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 homozygosity will be 1 by 16 so total 4 by 16 will be the chance of homozygosity so inbreeding coefficient will be 1 by 4 okay there would be chance that this third generation individual will be homozygous its inbreeding coefficient or chance will be 1 by 4 here we can consider the third case of brother half sister see in the first generation uh, suppose this first you know uh, a case is of a female this, this first one is a female second one is a male and third one is also a female it means this female the first one gets married to this man who is shown in the middle and then from that marriage they have a son now this man marries another woman which is shown in this uh, right side and from this marriage they have a daughter and if they marry with each other then they are not real brother and sister rather they are half brother and sister and if they marry each other or if mating occur between the between them 
then what would be the chance that the third generation baby would be homozygous? So we have to consider them genetically as A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5, A6 because same gene locus is being represented by six alleles and we have to consider that these are genetically very different for that specific gene locus. But what we shall see that uh, this third generation individual will be only A3, A3 or A4, A4. This fellow will never be A1, A1 or A2, A2 or A5, A5 and A6, A6. This possibility will not be there. It's because even inheritance, even allele may get inherited to this male, but it is not going to this daughter. Okay, so that in that situation, even even homozygosity will not be possible. Likewise, from this right side, if we consider that whether A5, A5 homozygosity will be possible, the answer is no. Only situation will be of A3, A3 and A4, A4 because this man is actually common in both, so his alleles will be inherited to son as well as daughters. So we find that A3 allele will be inherited to son, its chance will be 1 by 2 and from this son to the third generation child will also be 1 by 2. So this will be 1 by 4 and on the right side also 1 by 2 into 1 by 2, it will be 1 by 4. So A3, A3 homozygosity, its chance will be 1 by 16. Likewise, A4, O4 homozygosity will also be 1 by 16. So, uh, this fellow, this uh, third generation child will be homozygous, its chance will be 2 by 16, that is 1 by 8. So, inbreeding coefficient, that is extent of homozygosity in the third generation child because of brother half sister mating will be 1 by 8. So these are the ways one can calculate uh, inbreeding coefficient by considering some more cases means likewise you can consider so many other pedigrees in which parents are actually common parents are producing uh, children and if those children are having close blood relations if they marry with each other then what would be the chance of inbreeding coefficient uh, that can be calculated. See, I have explained this aspect in breeding coefficient in case of uh, a population. Actually, this aspect can also be dealt in population by considering different genotypes. Uh, we can see uh, by considering the actually data of different genotypes, we can see that whether heterozygotes, uh, they are uh, to the level of expected or not. If heterozygotes are quite less than expected, then that will be the reason for homozygosity. So, uh, this aspect I have dealt in a separate video, but by seeing all these cases, you can have idea about calculation of inbreeding in pedigrees.